tonight from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Kansas City Chiefs. Bitter rivals going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. But the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And while I don't equate starting record as a quarterback to pitchers in baseball, it still gives us a great baseline. And Patrick Mahomes, 38-8 as a starting quarterback for Kansas City in the regular season, throw in 6-2 in the playoffs, including a Super Bowl 54 victory. You've got one of the best ones in the game. And if you're a Kansas City fan, how excited are you? He signed through 2031. He will be your quarterback for a oh, contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And he's going to have this down deep into Vegas territory. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route? Because it's a little bit longer developing play. They max protect. Bring everyone in, keep the tight end in, an extra back to make sure the quarterback has time to deliver the football. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. Three yards the gain there, second down. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate, maybe, to get that back. It's third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Mahomes going to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey there to make the grab. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Raiders getting ready to go to work for the first time, and they're led by their quarterback in his eighth season now in silver and black, Derek Carr. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. The car's throw taken in by Edwards. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Play action, now it's Carr. 
And he will not get away from the pressure here. Car taken down. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He dumps it off to Dre. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Looking to throw is Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. Working from the gun. Mahomes. Man open is Robinson. Touchdown. Demarcus Robinson. 54 yards. And the Chiefs lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try to get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Nice sharp run there by Kenyon Drake, and he's awfully tough to get on the ground. And how about this Raiders backfield? It's certainly not lacking for punch, having signed Drake this year and already having Josh Jacobs in the backfield. Now, Drake, he's never had a 1,000-yard season, but last year in Arizona was his best jet. 955 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns, plus he can catch it swinging out of the backfield. On second and nine, Carr, and his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Throwing his car on third down. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Hardman on the return. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 
And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. A give to Williams, running right. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and nine. Throwing now is Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Carr. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Carr. He's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Another run of the Jets, sweep with Jones. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now Carr. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. The kick by Carlson is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. To throw once more on second and 10. Mahomes complete the tight end Kelsey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, then maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch them. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. He is going to find Hill here. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Might want to remember that third down play, 37 yards. 
So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie from TCU, Trayvon Merritt. And the Raiders are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Meanwhile, Carr's throw pulled in by Renfro. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw, it's Carr. And this goes out wide for Drake. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Shotgun now for Carr, and he hits Drake. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Again, it's Carr. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 44. Carr, he'll find his tight end. That's Waller. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. To throw his car. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And this is good. It was running kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. And the ball on the 30 here, second and four. Now here's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Now Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive as they go to work with 12 seconds on the clock. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. On play action, now Carr. Open man, that's Renfro. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. 
Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. To throw again on second down. Carr got his man complete over the middle. It's Edwards. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Only needing two yards on second down. Carr, a handoff here to Drake. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. On first and 10, here's Carr. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the play. Carr now on first down. And Waller taking it in over the middle. A gain of six there on first. From the 17, here's second and four. Carr defers to Jacobs on the draw. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Jacobs. A loss of two there, second down. I would think down two scores at this point in the fourth quarter, even with the loss there on first down, this has got to be four down territory. If you're the field goal kicker, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from four yards out. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And this is back to an eight-point game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 
Time now for Patrick Mahomes as we put him in our player's spotlight. And a trio of touchdown passes so far. They've got the lead as well. All is good in their football world at this point. And it's so much fun for our colleagues, right? Think about our producer, our director, everyone putting together these shots. Wouldn't you love to be in the truck right now and hear him calling for it? Give me that one, give me that one, give me that one. And we just saw three beautiful touchdown passes. Now he's looking for four. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. you got to be careful right here. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. On second down now. It's Williams, and he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second down, Williams. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. So the touchdown there and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix. and oh, Into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And the return will stop right around the 25. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make this a second down. They go play fake. Mahomes. Dancing to his left. 
This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Derek Carr getting set and ready to go again on offense here. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. On second and ten, Carr, he'll set up the screen to Dre. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The Raiders on third down, just one for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's Carr to throw. And this will be caught by Edwards. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. From just shy of midfield, Carr quickly a slant to Renfro. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Chris Jones able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Throwing on second and long. Carr over toward the sideline for Waller. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The Raiders on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 17. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 26. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They convert on third with a gain of 22. Now Carr. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And now fall incomplete. Second and 10. Now, Carr again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Drake. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Into the red zone. It's Carr. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. From the gun, it's Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second and goal. Carr. Touchdown, Raiders! Brian Edwards. A five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. 
They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. Here again is McCannon. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they take a knee. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. is right down the middle as he puts it through and that'll push the lead up to 17. So this one in the win column for Kansas City and we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins who loses this game no exception air free football no turnovers at all and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate and you know what I'm talking about head coach always stands up in front of the team and says guys if we do this this and this we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.